3,980 pounds, the new Asdell generation of Winnebago Micro Minis making landfall here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is the 2108 FBS, which gives us no carpet, seven foot easy towing body, beautiful look, standard off-road package. Uh, let's see, partridge at a pear tree, walk around front bed. <laughs> There's a lot of good going on here. Oh yeah, and now Asdell, just a sweet in the package. Like all the 2106s and 2108s, you've got some pretty good campsite window coverage uh, between the breeze through bedroom and kitchen windows, plus your main entry door has a full window in it that has a built-in privacy shade. Now it looks kind of funny to people sometimes. You see that there's a hanging closet on one side of this fixed queen bed, but not the other. Uh, this is a smaller body camper, and they didn't want people to feel super enclosed. There are some people that feel, you know, a little claustrophobic trapped back in that corner. So they give you one closet, they give you one open stand, there's household outlets on both sides for CPAP users. But, uh, and what you'll see is due to the awning placement outside, they needed to shove that window forward a little bit where a hanging closet would normally go. Here's the good news. There's another hanging closet in the bathroom that's actually larger than the one we're looking at. So you still have plenty of storage space. And since this is not one of the Murphy bed models, you actually gain extra overhead storage as well as a segregated underbed storage area. And this is where you really start to see this Winnebago as a material premium trailer. You could argue, like you could snazz up the interior a little bit basically, but they're using high grade materials through the entire RV. It is first class and built to last. You can see a plywood bed deck, you see the double gas struts. Uh, and again, it is completely separated inside outside storage. And that's one of those things that I think has helped make the 2106 and 2108 FBS models, the only difference being a sofa or dinette slide, very popular among Winnebago's lineup. One of the other things you get here though, uh, is this, it, it's a heavy, it's like a dual layer privacy curtain. It, and, and I mean, it's, I don't just mean it gives you a heavy amount of privacy, it's physically heavy. Uh, you are, there's no light passing through it. Like I have those windows and the lights open in the bedroom. You can't see through this thing. So it actually does a good job of privacy. And since it is so thick, it does a pretty good job of muddling sounds as well. Now you're still gonna be able to hear each other talk, don't get me wrong, but like, you won't, it, it'll muffle like if someone else is breathing. You're not going to hear each other breathing at night, so to speak. That is very handy if you do utilize this dinette space over here as a guest sleeping area, which obviously it is more than capable of doing. This is an excellent time to get to showcase for you the completely carpetless and easy cleaning, pet friendly, kid friendly, sloppy husband friendly, speaking from experience personally. <coughs> Uh, nature of this Winnebago, even up there in that dining slide. Also, another material premium thing. All of our tops, tabletops, countertops, or tip top, sealed edge, press membrane material. Another, that even includes over here by the entertainment center. Now, obviously, that TV, it's on a double swing arm. It can pivot around to do some crazy angles. You can make it face the kitchen, the bed, the dining, the whatever. Just not the bathroom, I suppose. But, What's cool is they've started including these handy little wireless charging pads right there. And I'm just on 12 volt power right now. It's a really cool thing. So up top, we've got a Bluetooth DVD player. That's pretty common stock in the RV industry. But if you're looking for something a little streaming friendly, or even if you're not looking for that, you're just looking for an easy way to set down your phone to top off the battery. These Winnebago's, they bring the technology, but a simple type of technology. You don't have to be a technological wizard to operate this thing. That's what's nice about it. Now we've seen the storage under the bed, but they also give us easy access to the storage below the dinette. You could still, uh, you know, take all the cushions and things apart to get to it if you wanted, but you don't have to. And just like under the bed, you see plywood here. They're always using a first rate material. They're never using a like uh, uh, a second rate material through these basically. Anywhere that you're gonna see, touch them, et cetera. Like uh, the nicer slide fascia, for example, is, is another indicator of that. Pocket screwed cabinetry with hardwood cabinet doors, stuff that's going to hold up and last longer for you. That full wall backsplash right there is also a, another neat touch. You will see if I uh, get up here a little bit closer and, and like say move this little cover out of the way, we are looking at stainless sinks in both the kitchen and the bathroom. You've got some easy reach appliance outlets there above your uh, dual plywood uh, box drawers. There is a neat little wastebasket space there. And if you're not into the whole wireless charging thing, one of the other things you can do 
is utilize this little valance right here and these USB plugs and there you go. You've got another little sort of uh, USB phone charging thing right by the door. So you don't have to go walking through the whole RV. If you just have your phone, Bluetooth, and some music, or if you just want to be able to listen to it to hear a phone call, you can keep that kitchen window open, or the screen door, obviously. You can be out under the awning enjoying yourselves, and you can still catch your phone if needed. Now, uh, down below here, again, sealed countertops, but between the sink covers, flush mount stove, and the countertop extension, we actually get some decent prep area in here. Now, up top... Uh, standard, this would have a 13,500 BTU air conditioner, which, frankly, is probably fine. I have a propensity to always overdo everything, which, you know, it's just, it's just my nature. I never, I, I never do too much. I always do, no, I always do too much and never do just enough. Okay, that, there we go. Yeah, see? Anyway, point is, you can get this with a 15,000 BTU air conditioner. You'd never regret having it. You might regret not having it, but probably not. This is not a big camper. It just sort of depends. It's, it's a personal preference. What is neat, though, everybody will like this, no matter what. Your air vents can all turn, open, and close individually, so you can always put that air exactly where you want. And one of the neat things here is uh, the, the structure of these is not just uh, the quality of the Winnebago is not just the exterior structure. All of the doors are fully framed out so that even though the jacks aren't down, even though this trailer is not level currently, even though technically the, the frame or chassis could be twisted, all your doors and everything, your cabinetry always remains square. Foot floor stool, plenty of leg room. And you see we have an easy step in shower. Not a big troublesome travel trailer tub. And as we come up past that shower surround paneling, you see a uh, full radius bar in that shower giving us a little more elbow room. Here's that extra closet that we talked about. And if you look at its depth in relation to where that mirror is, you see it is actually quite large. And again, sealed counters and a stainless sink right here give us plenty of room to able uh, to be able to, you know, wash adult size hands. But they also leave us a, uh, a like a, a, a corner space right there if you want to do things like set down a toothbrush holder or, a you know, shaver or anything like that. And once again, good bonus space right here and there is if i zoom in just a little bit you can see a hanging rack up in that not a hanging rod i actually kind of prefer hanging racks as i've grown in this industry because as you're traveling down the road they keep your hanging clothes in one spot they don't tend to slide around and it's like the previous generation this has a huge pass-through compartment very generous given the size of the rv handy battery disconnect over there on the far side and to give you an idea of how big this is that box right there, that big box, that is the dual propane tanks and the propane tray and regulator and all that stuff. That's a huge chunk of equipment dwarfed inside that compartment there. And you can see you have large access doors on both sides that are both slam latched and magnet uh, catched. Now, um, there's a major shift going on here in these Winnebago's. They have a new production facility and it has all kinds of state-of-the-art equipment. They're doing CNC routing for machine pre uh, precise precision. Precise precision? Is that like getting the time in both London and England at the same time from the redundancy department of redundancy? But <laughs> either way, um, one of the things there is their new lamination machine uh, basically couldn't grab onto the previous high-gloss fiberglass skin that they were using. So they were, uh, they swapped over to a more conventional fiberglass, but when they did that, they said, holy cow, guys, this is the perfect opportunity to swap over to using Asdell like people have been asking for for years. So I think it, I, I'm sad to see the glossy skin go, and at the time of this filming, we still have quite a few glossy Winnebago's left, but they will be, you know, phased out as the Asdell generation rolls in. But here's the thing, we can talk about what's lost, but standing here, looking at this right now, can you really tell the difference? I don't I don't really think you can. It's still got a gleam to it. It's still a high gloss. It's just not a T60 gel coat skin. But the thing is, it's now also less inclined to oxidize. That, that T60 looked great, but it did require a lot of personal TLC that this just won't. Although, I'm never recommending you do less to take care of your RV. Always take care of the thing. Seven foot, easy towing body, and that nose cap. Man, did they dress that up, and man, does this thing look good. This rides on an aircraft-style, high-strength, low-alloy chassis. If you don't know what that means, 
in English it's lighter but stronger and they are using those big windows there in the bedroom area to give you the, uh, that excellent light and cross breeze now as we come down here this now has, uh, it was optional for a long time on micro minis, and they said, you know, we're just going to standardize this. We're going to standardize the off-road package, and one of the nice things about that is it makes it so it's a little easier for me to take a knee to get down here to look at the heated and enclosed belly. But the other thing on this off-road package is it gets the sewer connections up higher off the ground, so you've got a greater ground clearance there. Now, there's a double layer of radiant foil uh, giving you a nice little extended season protection through this enclosed heated belly. Then there's a single layer of it running up the nose, the rear wall, and across the roof. And all the good things you've come to expect from these micro minis, they're all still here. The tinted windows, the centralized hookups, the backup camera prep, the all LED exterior lighting, including the reverse light elements that you see here in those taillights. Spare tires standard. If it wasn't, I would have added it on regardless. Hopefully, you never need it. But if you do, you're going to be glad that you have it. And they put the biggest uh, power awning on this thing they possibly could. The only way they could have made it larger is if they actually uh, sacrificed a chunk of that front bedroom cross breeze window, which I think that's one of the main aspects of this floor plan. That's something I would not want to get rid of. The door is anti-slam. You see the larger handle. And outside TV hookups kind of wrap up the campsite here before we hop upstairs. And you've heard me talk enough already, so I'll try to be brief up here. I just simply like to demonstrate the fact that this is a walkable roof whenever I have the opportunity. That roof ladder standard years ago used to be optional, thankfully became standard. And I mentioned how it has roof solar prep, a little plug right there. That's your Huckleberry, just to give you an idea. But short of that, I just want to thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your time. And I'd like to, uh, hopefully, thank you for the opportunity to earn your business. We put a lot of time and effort into educating people like this, climbing up on the roofs of campers even. And as you can see, that's what's helped us grow into becoming the largest independent RV dealer in the entire state of Michigan, by far. So, I don't care where you live, you know. We're in a small town, but we have customers literally all over the nation. All we need to work with you is the opportunity to earn your business. A phone call, an email, that's all I ask. And if you don't buy from us, it's our fault, not yours. So if that sounds fair, if you just want a second opinion on something, give us a call. We'll make sure you're getting shot straight. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Haylet camping, everyone.